Hi everybody, Kristen here with a quick little tutorial about how to use dot storming. It's a very simple, easy to use tool that you can use to help with student engagement during your live lessons. You can see down here the bottom half of the screen, this is what it actually looks like. It's a nice white clean board with ability to make sticky notes. You can pose a question up here for your students and they can answer them with a couple of different ways. Let's jump over and I'll show you how. Okay, signing up for dot storming is free and they're going to give you a gold sort of membership for to try all of the features for a month and then some of the features will go away if you just want to stick with the free version. With the free version, you are only going to be able to have one wall at a time, so keep that in mind. So this is a board already made. They have it right here on Dart Storming. You can take a look at it when you sign up and they give you sort of basics and information of things that you might want to know. But really, it's very simple. All you have to do is pose a question up here for your students and then they'll just grab a sticky note. They can pick the color. They'll double click on the screen and they can say whatever they want to answer your question hit post and that's that simple. I mean, that is the beauty of it. Of course, we can get into all sorts of details and do all sorts of interesting things, but if you just wanna get started with a quick, easy way, how to just get the kids all involved, everybody coming together and saying something and putting it on the board, this is a very easy tool. Now, just to get a little fancy, if you wanna get fancy, once you get used to it, you can use it to connect ideas, sort of like a chalk talk. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, when kids come together on a board and they talk through their sticky notes, well, you can actually make connections by using this, I think they call it a note menu, I'm not sure. But right here, all you have to do is click connect, and then I can connect my thought to somebody else's thought. And you can move it around and it's still connected. So this could be a really easy, fun way to brainstorm ideas, make connections. Another element, and like I said, you can just stick with a, hey, we're going to put sticky notes and we're all going to talk here. But if you want to get fancy, I'll just show you a couple other things. One of the other things I want to show you is voting. So once your students make sticky notes to answer a question, it could be something that you're all trying to decide upon or collaborate together and make collaborative decisions. Once everybody has their sticky notes, and I'll show you how to make an image sticky note next, everybody has a certain number of dots that you as a teacher has decided on the teacher side and they get to vote. So like I, if they want to stick with this decision and I put my vote here and the highest vote wins and you can, you can arrange them according to the most popular. I mean, I haven't gotten involved in that yet, but I'm just letting you know it's another option that you can make. Okay, so let's go back into how I would use it. So let's create a space. You can make a voting board for all, which like I said, I've never done that, but you might be very excited about that option. You can make a collage, or you can make a wall. I'm just gonna make a wall. So here are my options. So my workspace, optional, I'm gonna call this my ELA board, I don't know. And in this one, I'm going to say, um, what was the lesson in the book? It's for an idea, I'm gonna say it's a private wall and add. Very simple. So here it is. What was the lesson in the book? You can type or double click to add a card. I'm going to collect, select my card and double click. And I'm going to say the lesson was blah, blah, blah. And then once I have that, I just post. Very simple. Now, if I wanted to add an image card, like I told you I'd mentioned, I'm going to select image and that's going to be taken from your desktop things that you already have here. So I'm just going to select any old image just to show you how easy and quick it is. You just search your desktop or wherever you have your images that you like to use and then hit upload. And then my card is like this kind of card. So if I want to edit the card, I just go into these little three dot menu over here and I can edit the card. So I want, I might, have said, oh gee, I really wanted to say something there. So, um, life is good. You know, I'm just throwing anything up there and I'm gonna hit done. So now I can move this around or if this lesson was related to this lesson and I'm noticing a connection as a student, if you wanna make this available, they can connect their ideas together. You can 
move them around. You can decide to lock things. If you don't want this card to be movable, now it's no longer movable. So you can imagine so many great ways that your kids could have collaborative conversations. You can have a board for each um, small group in their breakout rooms, whatever works for you. But I just think it's a, such an easy, quick tool that you can use to help with student engagement. You can get as fancy as you want, but I think the simpler, the better. And uh, that's it. You can edit the theme if you want and change the colors, but you don't have to make it fancy. I'm just trying to show you the quick, easy way to use it. I hope you think that dot storming is something that's very doable, easy to use, and it can keep your students very engaged. Thank you.